briefcase, briefs, and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. The Supreme Court of the United States heard a pivotal case in 1990, W.S. Kirkpatrick and Company v. Environmental Tectonics Corps International, which centered on the act of state doctrine. This doctrine emphasizes that U.S. courts cannot judge the validity of foreign acts of state in order to prevent interference with foreign affairs. At the heart of the case, a U.S. company, W.S. Kirkpatrick & Company, Inc., was accused of bribing Nigerian officials in order to win a government contract to build and equip an aeromedical center in Nigeria. The unsuccessful bidder sought damages against Kirkpatrick and others, prompting the defense to move for a dismissal based on the act of state doctrine. While the district court initially granted the motion, the Court of Appeals overturned the decision, leading the Supreme Court to weigh in on whether the doctrine could apply in cases involving allegations of bribery by foreign officials. Ultimately, the Supreme Court upheld the Court of Appeals' decision, ruling that the act of state doctrine did not apply in this case. The court found that determining the validity of Nigeria's contract with Kirkpatrick International was not necessary for resolving the dispute. Instead, the focus was simply on whether the alleged acts occurred. The court stressed that the act of state doctrine does not create exceptions causing discomfort to foreign governments, but requires their acts within their jurisdiction to be considered valid. While the doctrine could potentially bar litigation based on alleged corruption, it did not apply in this specific case, as no foreign sovereign act was questioned. The court highlighted the importance of striking a balance in implementing the doctrine without expanding it into uncharted territory. Case briefs and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. Visit lse.law. Elevate your mind. Leave the stress of class.